Welcome back to Brave New Digital Classroom, Chapter 5, Theory into Practice, Putting It All Together. Now the most essential notion that uh, a foreign language teacher has to address uh, when they begin to introduce technology into the curriculum is a realization that the classroom, tech, uh, the classroom pedagogy is no longer going to be business as usual. Uh, when you introduce technology into the curriculum, you have a fundamental change from teacher-centered classroom to student-centered classroom. This change presents a real challenge for most teachers, especially seasoned ones who've already enjoyed a modicum of success in their career over the years, who might ask, you know, why not leave things the same the way they always were? But again, we've already reviewed in the uh, previous chapters some of the reasons why incorporating new technologies into the curriculum affords real advantages for a language program. Uh, starting with the most obvious reason that uh, digital learning is tremendously appealing to the students themselves. Ideally, computer-assisted language activity should lead students to interpret, collaborate, problem-solve, reflect, and finally create language in the second language. The teacher is an integral part of this dynamic by guiding students to develop their critical thinking and their metalinguistic skills. Without any doubt, this endeavor involves uh, a great amount of cross-cultural knowledge of the type that only the instructor has at the beginning of this process. The instructor is once again a crucial link in allowing students to gradually bootstrap themselves into a new culture. Now, not surprisingly, using technology requires considerable advanced preparation, maybe even more so than just preparing the lessons uh, that teachers constantly use without any kind of a technological implementation. Uh, what can go wrong from a technical standpoint most probably will go wrong a few times. It's what we call in the call field Murphy's Law. But more importantly, call activities need to be well thought out with respect to the curricular objectives precisely because students are more in control. Likewise, with today's Web 2.0 tools, much of what the student uh, does uh, and their exposure to the second language happens outside the classroom, which is a total new phenomenon for all of us. So how can we evaluate these outside call activities? There are no pat answers, but the entire learning experience will become more focused on process, it'll become more dynamic, and there is a more entwined relationship between teachers and learners, as well as learners with other learners, which strikes me as a very felicitous byproduct of introducing technology into the curriculum.